Okay, Chris with Midwest Bay again. Doing the walk around of the Adipose Boat Works flow. The cover off so you can see the inside. So the color is midnight blue with the white lettering. Again, it's on the Pro trailer. I did a trailer and cover video already. But it's the standard, basically the standard with uh, a lot of the options. The options that I have are the uh, the spare oar holder, which I haven't seen a video of those yet. If you can see the inside there, it's got a bolt that actually Each half actually snaps up in to its holder on each side of the boat underneath the storage. And I've got the Sawyer Dino X with the shoal cut oars, just so you can see that. And a lot of people don't really talk about the Yeti 65 or the 45, which one's better, or really get a good look at the fit. Can you walk through the sides of a 65 this is the yeti 65 yes you can walk through each side it's a little tight you can move it over to one side and it's a, you've got a lot more room but i have a couple dogs and the dogs get through there okay if you're going to go to an overnight i definitely recommend a 65 as far as your size uh, 45 could probably get you on the daily with two fishermen uh, but anyway, I got the 65 for other reasons. Anyway, here's the the bucket. If you can see on the back side, it's got that flat edge to it. It's a feed bucket, super heavy duty. It works awesome. It's a $30 add-on. I highly recommend it. I use it as a trash can. You're not really supposed to do that on our water just because you got to make sure you can hold on to if, if by chance it gets loose but anyway i use it as a trash can and it's good if you swamp this boat you have a bucket in which you can bail uh, but i use it it's perfect for when you're loading and unloading you can just throw that anchor i use the they gave us the 35 pound tornado anchor but it's money just to throw that anchor in there all hooked up with the rope and then you're ready to go after you dip it in the water uh, highly recommend that $30 upgrade it even comes with their own straps to mount it in there and uh, so this is the standard setup as far as the storage is concerned the right side from the captain seat is going to be the short storage or not this is the deep storage on the left side and I got the uh, one of the uh, of the trays and also always have a bilge always have a bilge in there then I basically pull everything out of it because I store it anyway on the right side let me see the back of it boat buckles highly recommend the boat buckles worth every penny uh, what else pro pro trailer oh I'll get to the the top and the if you can see it right there the wearing but we'll get to that 15 inch tires well worth the money to upgrade on this trailer i've got the uh, uh i forgot the mats whatever the mats are i've got those too and then the this would be the the whatever that's called the shallow storage or whatever with the open to the boat super awesome how that's all set up as far as your storage yeah, i couldn't ask for anything better been in the rain downpouring rain not everything's dry on the inside of it another thing that i haven't really seen is the net holder option that's worth every penny uh, if not that net's going to be in the floor of the boat that right there is the uh just so you know they can mount pretty much any net in there but that's the fish pond nomad guide net it's the little bit longer one than the just the nomad it's money can reach a lot of fish just from the captain seat uh, outside of that casting braces or money they come out I haven't taken them out yet I won't raise the seat because you gotta sit down on it but you can raise and lower these seats 
uh, works out really good. But this is just the standard colors with the pro trailer, spares extra, the uh, tongue, whatever the jack is extra. I went ahead and got all of it. Oh, here is what I want to talk about. So if you do get the cover, which I highly recommend if you have a lot of gravel roads. Every road I drive on out here where I fish is gravel, dust everywhere. I just wash the boat, I'm gonna let it dry, I'm gonna put the cover back on it just so when I get to where I wanna go, I've got the fresh inside boat. But you can see the wear that cover puts on the outside of this boat all the way around. There's, I mean, I don't see any way around it. Uh, you know, it's a great cover, holds on really tight when it's on the boat and traveling. It's just, it does rub that paint. So uh, I'm willing to, to deal with that. So outside of that, the boat has been incredible. Couldn't have asked for anything better. It's, it's actually exceeded my expectations. Uh, adipose flow that's what everybody talks about it took me a year to get it ordered it back in uh let's see 20 let's see june of no yeah may of uh 2021 picked it up april 2022 had it on the water about 16 times every time's been money the uh it handles great. I had a Flycraft before this one. I had a Jet Drifter before this one. And just, you know, after just spending time on the water, this this is for the rivers I fish, this is the best bet. And I wasn't gonna go with anything but the best. So, and that's what this is. I highly recommend it. Beautiful boat, handles awesome. Anyway. Hope you liked the video. If you guys can help me, like and subscribe like you always hear. But uh, starting out the my channel here and trying to get some subscribers. Anyway, cheers.